Kvatkons is a significant burial site located along the Dogava River in Latvia. This river served as an essential trade route in the Bronze Age. The burials date to approximately 800 to 500 BCE, coinciding with late European Bronze Age and early Iron Age in some regions. Bronze Age communities in Latvia first started incorporating agriculture and animal husbandry into their subsistence strategies. Baltic communities inherited these practices from the Corded Ware culture. There is genetic continuity between the Corded Ware culture and the people this video is about. Because of this genetic and cultural continuity, we can say with certainty that these people were Indo-Europeans. The four individuals this video is about descended from the Baltic Corded Ware with additional EF and WHE ancestry. Let's begin with Kvutkons 207, who is female. Here is her predicted phenotype. She is predicted to have blue eyes, dark blonde hair, white or pale skin tone, wavy hair, and snub nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she had intermediate rate of dopamine breakdown, less D2 receptor sites, lower odds of autism, intermediate empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and had blood type O. She had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, gout, leukemia, myopia, corneal astigmatism, baldness, type 1 diabetes, and multiple sclerosis. She carried rare risk variants for familial thoracic aortic aneurysm. She had low odds for migraine, eczema, exfoliation glaucoma, stroke, atrial fibrillation, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, prostate cancer, thyroid cancer, and polycythemia vera. Now let's move on to Kvutkons 209, who is male. Here is his predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have blue eyes, red hair, paler skin color, curly hair, and snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he HS intermediate rate of dopamine breakdown, intermediate D2 receptor availability, high odds of autism, high levels of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and had blood type O. He had high odds of exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, baldness, multiple sclerosis, glioma, and testicular cancer. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, beta thalassemia, myosclerosis, and Fabry disease. He had low odds for erythema nodosum, gout, Tourette's, vitiligo, stroke, atrial fibrillation, ADHD, depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, and thyroid cancer. Next, we move on to Kvutkons 222, who is also male. He is predicted to have blue eyes, light brown hair, white skin, straight hair, and snub nose shape. He was a warrior and had lower D2 receptor site availability. He had high odds of autism, intermediate empathy levels, intermediate odds of obesity, and carried blood type B or AB. He had high odds for hemoglobin E disease, rheumatoid arthritis, baldness, ADHD, type 2 diabetes, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. He did not carry any risk variants for any rare diseases. He had low odds for kidney stones, migraine, eczema, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, vitiligo, primary biliary cirrhosis, atrial fibrillation, cardiovascular issues, depression, multiple sclerosis, and glioma. Finally, we move on to Kvutkons 19, who is also male. Here is his predicted phenotype. He had hazel eyes, dark brown hair color, olive skin color, straight hair, and snub nose shape. He was a worrier and had intermediate D2 receptor availability. He had high odds of autism, intermediate empathy levels, intermediate odds of obesity, and blood type O. He had high odds of exfoliation glaucoma, cataracts, age-related macular degeneration, epilepsy, myopia, baldness, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and multiple sclerosis. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, Hirschsprung disease, pseudoaral sulfatase A deficiency, and systemic sclerosis. He had low odds for migraine, gout pose, Tourette's, vitiligo, stroke, ADHD, and polycythemia vera. You can purchase these samples as well as my trait predictor tool from links in the description. Do you think these people are the linguistic root of Baltic languages? Or are they some extinct Indo-European lineage? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.